guys, Day Yoongi here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have decided that I want to start doing a monthly favourites series on my channel. So at the end of every month I will make a video talking about my favourite things in K-pop that month, whether it be new debuts, new releases, things like that, or just songs I've been enjoying in general. So in today's video we are going to be looking at my January 2022 K-pop favourites. Please note that these are just my personal opinions and the things I've been enjoying. This is simply just for fun and to share some of my interests with you guys. And I would absolutely love for you guys to share some of your monthly favourites in the comments with me as well. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is my favourite debut of the month, and that is Woozy of Seventeen. He had his solo debut this month with his song Ruby, and I absolutely love this song so much. I very quickly become obsessed with it. I think it helps, of course, that the song is in English, so the lyrics are so catchy. But it's not even just that. I really love the style that he's chosen for his solo debut. It feels like he knows himself so well and what suits him and his voice. Of course, he's used to producing for 13 people, so he'll know himself very well. We just don't get to see it very often. The whole aesthetic and the video as well, I think he just looks super cool, so he should be really proud because this was such a great debut. And I really hope we see more stuff from him as well. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about my favourite female and male releases of the month. These can either be by a group or a soloist. They could be a comeback or something else, like a song from a TV show. Okay, so let's start with the female one. This song I've chosen for my favourite female isn't actually a comeback. The song is Bada Boom by Solar and Moonbule of Mamamoo. <laughs> This song was produced alongside a song by Itzy and another song by Soyeon of G-Idol for the contestants of Street Dance Girl Fighter or SGF for short for them to dance to in the finale. This song is such a bop. There's only the two of them in the song rather than all of Mamamoo and it just feels like such a whole strong group release because their voices just work that well together, especially with the combination of Sola's vocals and Moonbule's rap. After the chorus, it like speeds up for Moonbeal's rap in the second verse and it knocked me sideways the first time I heard it. I was so shook. <laughs> of course, I can't play the full song because copyright will yell at me, but honestly, I'd recommend you check this one out as well. I'm gonna try and not say that after every release that I talk about, but it's hard not to as well. And now on to my favourite male release of the month, and that is Blessed Cursed by Enhypen. Enhypen, Enhypen, I'll never know if I'm saying that right. This was their comeback this month, and I absolutely love seeing Enhypen like grow into their own over the last few eras. I feel like they really have, because everything they do now seems to suit them, and you can tell how much they're growing in confidence as performers as well. This song is just simply the definition of a bop, but it also shows off their vocal abilities really well in that chorus, which I think is great too. I also really like the back to the 2000s whole concept of the song, and the styling really reminds me of those like older pop boy groups that we used to love back in the day, and I kind of miss that. So if you're somebody who really enjoys the early 2000s and this is definitely one for you, whilst still also having that modern twist on it as well. Before we move on, I also want to include some more honourable mentions of songs I've been enjoying this month and why. Unlike the last few ones we discussed which were new releases in January, these other favourites I mentioned now in this next part won't necessarily have been released in this month, because sometimes, say for example, if a song comes out later in the previous month, I'm more likely to be enjoying it in the following months anyways, if that makes sense. I don't know, my music taste is so unpredictable. I rediscover old songs all the time too, so I would like to put the ones in here that I've been listening to each month. So first up we have Kepler's debut Wa Da Da. <laughs> I'll admit, I wasn't 100% sold on this song when it came out, but the more I listened to it, because you know it's only a debut and I wanted to give it a chance, the more I now enjoy it. And I personally think you can see their confidence growing with each stage, which makes me enjoy it as well, because you can see that they are. Next up, Paint Me Naked by Ten. So tell me when you wanna take it, I'm your figure, you can paint me naked. I feel so late to the party on this song, oh my god, because when it came out I was like, huh, okay, this is fine, you know. But then I revisited it more recently and I was like, okay, why was I not giving this song more attention? I adore it so much now and I have it pretty much on repeat. <laughs> Next up, Pirate by Everglow. I've started to unironically love this because when it came out, I was like, okay, these lyrics aren't serious, are they? Like, I feel like I should be laughing with them. That's fine, right? But now it's so addictive and that choreography as well is so catchy that I do find myself just repeating it in my head. And last but not least, Libby Do by Only One Of. Libby 
I'm very aware that I'm very late to the party on this one. It was always one of those songs that I was aware of because it comes up on my Spotify song radios for me all the time. as like a song to be associated with the music that I already listened to, but I never actually had it in my own playlists. But then one day it came on a song radio while I was working and then I couldn't get it out of my head for quite a while and I was like, okay, this clearly belongs in my playlists as something I should listen to more often. So now it's there and I love it. You know what? Four songs isn't enough, is it, guys, to talk about what I've been listening to all month? Let's make it ten. I will quickly fly through six more songs that I've been loving this month, and I'll put the reasons why on screen. I want to include in my monthly favourites videos is my favourite news stories, maybe plural like today sometimes, of the month. I thought this would be a cute addition because there's a lot of negative things that go on in the press so for once I wanted to focus on some of the positives. These are all articles that I've seen pop up on my Facebook from the likes of all K-pop and Soompi and things so I'm sorry if you're not a fan of those but honestly I think I'd be lost without getting my news from them and that sort of thing so even though I don't agree sometimes with the way they falsely advertise like a lot of journalism does, I do like having the news headlines pop up on my feed, you know? I will link the articles that I have put on screen in the description in case you want to check any of them out. So the ones I have chosen this month as some of my favourites are as follows. TVXQ's Changman gifts all of his staff members Prada card cases ahead of his comeback. I really loved seeing this, it really made me smile. Whether they cost him a fortune or if it was sponsored, I don't know, but of course that's not the point. The point is that this was a really, really sweet gesture on his part to thank them for all their hard work approaching his comeback, and I think we need more people like this. Next up, oh this one's really cute. One fan shows their true love for the boys is Young Hoon as they climb a mountain because the idol said he wanted to see snow. Okay, so before the fun police come along and tell me this could have been really dangerous, don't worry, I know that and I'm not encouraging anyone to climb an idol's Wait, what? Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, let me rephrase that. I am not encouraging anyone to climb a mountain for their idols. Oh my god, that was nearly not safe for work. Anywho, if we look past the fact that yes, this could have been dangerous, how sweet is this? And his reaction was so cute as well. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd much prefer fans to show their love and appreciation for their idols in this way, rather than the way that say songs do, you know? And last but not least, Mamamoo's Wien wins number one on January 27th's M Countdown. Oh my god, she is doing so well with her recent solo comeback and her first release under the live entertainment. Honestly, I'm so proud of her. Look at the views of her watercolor music video versus the Make Me Happy video already. And it's still climbing. She deserves this so much and M Countdown is a big one to win, so she seemed so happy in her acceptance speech and of course emotional as well. It was so heartwarming to see and I hope she continues to receive this much support as she continues in her solo career as well as being a member of Mamamoo still. Okay, so before we end today's video, we have gone through all my favourites from the month now, but I also quickly want to run through some things I'm looking forward to in the next month, and I'll hopefully do this at the end of every video as well if I know what's coming. So the things I'm looking forward to in February. A full B2B group comeback. I must admit, I haven't been paying as much attention to them for a while, but then when they released that bop Outsider, it definitely grabbed my attention, so I will 100% be tuning in to see what a full group comeback entails. We also will hopefully be getting the Vivi's debut. This is the three former members of G-Friend, Sinbi, Unha and Umji. They are set to make their debut as the trio Vivi's in February. We've already started to get some teasers for that, so I'm really intrigued to see the full concept they go for. Hopefully Umji will make a full quick recovery from her recent COVID diagnosis, so the debut can still go ahead as planned. And last but not least, something else I'm excited to see in February has recently been confirmed, and that is a Stacey comeback. With each song they released last year, they continue to grow and grow in popularity, so I'm really excited to see not only what style they go for, but how this song performs as well, just because they keep growing so quickly. Stereotype did so well on the likes of TikTok. I think a lot of us now, who maybe won't even have been fans before, will be looking out for the next release. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how that goes. Okay guys, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far, I really appreciate it. And I really enjoyed sharing some of my favourites with you, so please let me know some of yours in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you turn on the notification bell, that should let you be the first to hear whenever I upload. As always, my socials will also be on screen. That is my Twitter and my Instagram. I always follow back fellow K-pop fans, and I've been trying to be more active on there, so let's be friends.
I think that's everything for today's video, so I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.